Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Child of God, this is Prophet Okumbo again. On this prophetic channel, the Assembly of Brethren. How are you today? God bless you. Real quick, I want to speak to somebody about desperation. Desperate people. And why they get desperate. And why they allow the devil to put them in a situation where they are so desperate that they would even go ahead and kill other people because of their desperation. Now hear me. In the history of the church, God never told any man to build him a church. Never. Go read the Bible. Since I have been God, said the Lord, no man ever built him a house to dwell in. God does not dwell in tabernacles made with hands. These are scriptures that men should know. When I meet desperate people in church, excuse me, they are desperate to be the first to build a church. They are desperate to be the first to drive a certain car. They are desperate for money. They are desperate for women. Desperate for communion, wine, alcohol. They are desperate to be the first to go overseas. They are desperate to be their desperate, 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 desperate people. They just constantly live a life of competition. And they are looking at one person out there and think they can outshine you, outmaneuver you. They have a domineering spirit, the spirit of seniority. Desperate people. They have to be one step ahead of you. It is always a competition with them. No time for sober reflection. No time to sit down and thank God for how far God has brought them. No time. No time. They just want to be ahead of everybody else. They also watch you. I know certain people who watch me. I see them all the time. I see them every time. They think I am the reason why their lives are going the way it is going. They think that I have interest in competing with them. They think I have interest in trying to be better than them. No, I'm living my life. I love to live my life. No desperation. No time to compete with anybody. I know there is competition in the land. I see it all the time. I say, but the Holy Ghost warned me never to be like that. He told me, say, Kenneth, don't join them. Don't join them. A desperate man forgets that God is the owner of the earth no matter where he finds himself. If you go to Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe belongs to God. If you're in Kenya, Kenya belongs to God. If you're in America, America belongs to God. Canada, Canada belongs to God. If you're in Nigeria, same thing. And it, your location matters a lot to God because if God wants any man to be anywhere on the face of the earth, that's where God will keep the man. Anybody fighting with the man not to be in that place will be fighting with God. This is scriptural. This is, this is, this is powerful now. This is powerful. Very powerful. That the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof. You can't dictate to God what he will do with his people. You cannot. A lot of people have tried it in the past and they perished. Pharaoh tried it with the children of Israel. He perished. Nebuchadnezzar. Herod, same thing. Remember that there were certain people in Genesis 11. I quote the scripture all the time. The Torah of Babel. They were hoping to build God a house. They were hoping to build a Torah so that they can see God. It was not the will of God. They all got into trouble. God destroyed the Torah and God took his land back. The land where they were building the Torah. Who knows what God had allocated the land for? This is why you don't let people anyhow into your life. One, you don't build house, houses or houses just for building houses. There has to be something that God has laid in your heart while you are doing what you are doing. What is the purpose and the vision behind what you are doing? Mindset. What is your character towards what you are doing? Your demeanor, your posture. Uh, were you sent by God or you are doing it out of competition you are desperate to be in front 
You're desperate to be an apostle. You're desperate to be a prophet. You're desperate, desperate. Very desperate people. I see them all the time in this generation. The longer they are desperate, the more they circle around and come back to the same spot. They are still at square zero because you cannot deceive God. You cannot manipulate God. You will go and do what you want to do and God will drag you and bring you back to where he wanted you to be in the first place. This is how God operates. And when God wants you to be in a particular place, I know certain people who were laying traps, stumbling blocks, stumbling blocks for me not to live in America. I remember many of them. I remember what they said. I remember what they did. And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Kenneth, don't fight with them. Watch what I do to them. And so I went and stayed quiet. The longer I stayed quiet, the more God was fighting my battles. Be prayerful, child of God. You never know why your enemies are jealous of you. Why are they envious of you? Why is it that they think that you are not qualified to be alive? You're not qualified to start a ministry. You're not qualified. It should never be you God will use. So they compete with who they thought you were. Who they were looking at you to be. They made the mistake to think that it is impossible for God to use you, to love you. Desperate people. God bless you out there who is a child of God. You that God knows and the world does not know you. You that God knows and the church doesn't know you. May God bless you. Ye gather ye all my saints unto me, saith the Lord, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. God bless you. Amen and amen.